Hi guys, it's Mark, the Knife Maker 123, back with another short video on some of the camp saws that I use and um, what my opinion is about um, the saws that I use and carry. Um, I'd really like to thank Survive N2. If you look down in my links, um, you can see where I subbed him. It's Survive N2. I just want to thank you again for your videos and for your comments. I kind of make this made this one um, because of the comment that um, you left about the wire saws and the pocket chainsaws. I've, I've had those and I've used all those. Um, I hope you guys, when you watch my videos, you don't you don't take any of them the wrong way. I'm not trying to say that the stuff that you use and carry um, isn't good. Um, my videos, again, are just about the stuff that, that, that I use and carry and what works for me. I've, I've tried all the wire saws, I've tried all the pocket saws. The wire saws, even the really good ones, they they broke on me. I've lost them. Um, the pocket chainsaws, they work. Um, some of the good ones, they go between $30 and $60. If you don't take uh, really good care of them and keep them oiled in the tins, they rust. Um, but again, I've used them all. I have them all. I just don't like the wire saws. Um, they, they work. They do what they're supposed to do. They might be okay in a little um, Altoid survival kit where you're concerned more with packing the most you can get into um, an Altoid tin or something where, you know, if, if you don't use it once or twice, it might be okay. But the stuff that I, I'm making my videos about is the stuff that I use all the time that works for me. So, again, I've tried all the pocket saws, um, the wire ones and the chainsaws. I like the chainsaw ones because they work, you know, a lot quicker, a hundred times better than um, the wire saws. So, surviving two, I hope you didn't take that the wrong way. I like all your videos, um, I respect your videos and the stuff that you're doing, so I wasn't trying to say um, that pocket chainsaws don't have their place in, you know, your personal preference carry. If you want to see a really, a really good video that will make you smile, do a search on Peak Survival. Um, the girl's name is Salika. She makes some fantastic vids. They're always too short because she's such a sweetheart and makes really, really good videos about um, survival gear, all different kinds, and she did one test on a pocket saw. Um, I forget the kind of the pocket saw, but she did the test uh, barefooted, holding down the log. Um, I would suggest to everybody, girls and guys, when you're out there playing with saws and the knives, um, axes, anything, um, where you're chopping or working around your cute painted toes, wear some boots just while you're doing the test, just in case the saw slips off. Um, if they break, for whatever reason, there's some kind of a leather barrier that's going to slow down the blade or the edge so you don't cut off one of your cute toes, um, just for us guys that like cute toes. Anyway, um, sorry to babble, it's just me, I know I'm not all there, I hope you guys, some of you were smiling, but um, Peak Survival, Salika is, uh, I think she's just an adorable sweetheart, she really sounds like she knows what she's doing, um, she's got a lot of... Um, really good vids. So, um, for Surviving 2, do the search, check out her, her video that'll make you smile. Um, and Sarah Harding, for your, uh, you girls out there doing the videos, um, us guys see you barefooted and wearing flip flops and that, and it makes us all cringe. Uh, again, not that we don't like seeing, seeing your feet or anything. Um, sorry to babble, but I just thought I'd pass that on. You're making all of us guys cringe when we see, you know, chopping and hacking barefooted or flip flops. Um, so anyway, don't don't anyone get mad at me. Again, I'm just trying to make y'all smile. Um, I like all your videos. Um, I've watched all your videos, and this one here, I know the back went too long, so I'll go in about um, the saws that I carry. I'm sure y'all have or have seen the Leatherman Wave. It comes with a saw with the blades and everything else, but um, to take down saplings and stuff. <laughs> I can do it, will do it. This is just a little piece of pine. Um, it's more just an added feature of the knife just in case um, you might need one and you only have the knife, you have a saw in there, but it's not something that you would use every single time to take down enough um, saplings to make any kind of a shelter. You'd be there all day with this one. And it's the same with the Swiss Army style saws. I think the Swiss, the Swiss Army ones are really good ones. Um, they work. They can use these. To 
make a shelter, you know, in soft wood, they work pretty good. But again, if you're going to be if you're going to be making shelters and you know you're going to be out there making a shelter, having a Fisk knife as opposed to the wire saws and the chainsaws, um, I found that these work for me. I can keep them sharp. They're really cheap. I think I've lost one of these, but you go into any um, home and garden store. It doesn't have to be you know one of the big stores. Just about all the stores carry. Um, a variation of this type of saw folding or sliding out between five bucks and fifteen bucks. Um, unless you're you're super hardcore, if you're only going to be using them a few times, these saws really work. Um, this one I keep it razor sharp. I'll show you how to sharpen them. But ninety percent of the time, this is the saw that I use to take down little saplings or to trim off um, branches and that. It's always in my back pocket or hooked under my belt loop. Um, this big garden pruning saw, it was only like $12 at Walmart. This was designed and made to cut down small branches and to prune trees and bushes and stuff. So this, this saw was designed for the shelter making, basically. Um, the handle is, is kind of big and meaty, but it's soft and rubber. There's a platform on the top. I know you can't see it because of the video, but your thumb goes there. It's a really comfortable pistol grip. Um, this saw, uh, where is it? It's not that much bigger than the Fisks. You can see it's not that much bigger, but I found this one cuts way, way faster just because it, you've got more um, leverage with the handle. So again, for me, um, I go out with the Fisks to cut down the saplings or to trim off um, branches that I'm going to use. This I keep strapped to the side of my Alice pack in this hard plastic case. So when I drag a whole bunch back, I take this one out and I use it to, to trim off the ends and to take off the tops and to notch and to do out the, uh, the other stuff. And sharpening the back edge of the blade just helps in having a knife handy. This is high carbon steel. You got to keep it keep it oiled. You can replace the blades. Um, and again, at Walmart, between 12 and 15 bucks, this was designed and made to trim um, branches. So if you're going to be doing small branches to build a shelter, this, you know, it just kind of dawned on me that I should go and look in the garden section to see what they had. Um, these really work. It doesn't weigh anything, and it straps right to my um, Alice pack. And in a little over three years. Um, it's never let me down. Um, it's really comfortable in the hand with gloves on, without gloves on. It doesn't weigh anything. Um, the camp saw that you guys have seen me use is an industrial hacksaw blade. I left the teeth on the, on the back of it. I use this more as a camp knife. It's got a very thin, sharp edge on it, so I can take down a sapling with the edge part faster than um, the saw teeth on the back, but I use those if I want to play and practice with my um, trap making skills. It makes a really good notch, a square square notch or a clean notch. But I don't take saplings down with the saw blade for this or with the everyday carry knife that I have. This has saw teeth on the back too. Um, both of these were hex saw blades that they used in a machine. It just went back and forth to cut through like sewer pipe or something. Um, but anyway, these here, um, they're good teeth. And I'm, I said in my one video, it's just that this steel and this blade was designed as a hacksaw blade to cut through steel. So you could cut through a car door with it, not that you would ever literally cut through a car door with this. I was just mentioning my one video, and again, I'm babbling, but. Um, the saw teeth on this are just um, more or less there just in case I have to have something really quick. It's already always in my pocket and always going to be right in my hand. If you know you're going to do a lot of um, trimming or shelter building, it, trust me, it's really worth it to bring one of these small bow saws. Um, they're kind of heavy and bulky, but if you know you're going to be building a shelter, this, these... I think works the best out of all of them under a chainsaw. If you know you're going to be doing a lot of cutting, 
just a small $12, $15 one like this. This one happened to come in the convenient size of 12 inches. So you can have hacksaw blades, and there's all different types and patterns of the uh, saw teeth for the wood, for whatever else that you want to do. It's cheap, easy um, to replace, and you never know when you might need a hacksaw blade. When you're out, out in the woods, if you're in the middle of nowhere, if you don't have it you, and you can't make it, you go without. So if you're going to carry a big bulky bow saw, think about one that has the um, versatility to use a hacksaw blade too. Um, Again, sorry to babble. I really appreciate you guys um, making the comments about my videos and watching my videos. I really like watching your videos, so I'm hoping I'm making some of you guys smile. I know I'm making you all shake your head, but um, I'm trying my best, and I'm trying to make videos that will make you smile so I can share with you guys all the same toys that you have and use. Um, I watch your videos about this stuff, so I'm trying to do my own. Hopefully you guys are smiling while you're watching. Um, again, Surviving 2, thank you for your videos and taking the time to watch mine and to leave comments. Um, I really do appreciate that, and that's what I'm trying to focus on. If you guys leave a comment about something, I'll try and make a video um, that'll answer that. But this video, I made it because Surviving 2, you mentioned the, um, the pocket saws. I do have those. I use them. Um, but for me, I, I lost them. I mean, I lost probably five of the really good ones because when you get them in a ball and you set them down on a log if they fall into the leaves if it's a little bit of dark out they, they disappear if you set something this size with me being half blind when I set something this big down on a log or down on the ground if it falls it's so big that it's obvious so when you turn around you just look and see if you forgot anything my eye picks up this size a lot more than it picked up a little um, rusted knife or black oiled um, ball like this because if they fall off they're gone and the wire ones again they do work I'm not saying that they don't have their place in survival kits um, I have them I've used them I like to play with them but these are the ones that work for me these are the ones that I carry and use and hopefully this video will explain um, why so thank you guys again for watching um, Leave your comments if there's anything else that you'd like to see um, where I can make you smile. I'll try and make a video about it. Thanks again.